It is not easy to survive in this jungle without help, which is why many small automakers were acquired by bigger companies. They may work separately, but besides the supervision, they also share units, platforms, engines, transmissions, anything, and survival becomes easier. Mazda is out there leading its business on its own, with only a little of help externally. To note some of its highlights, these engines are one of their best. Mazda B engine The B engine had a major impact on Mazda's success before the third millennium. The range spread it from 1.1 up to 1.8 liter, covering everything from an economy models up to turbocharged four-wheel drives. In fact, it was used transversely and also longitudinally in engine bays, the MX-5 for instance. Some turbocharged versions were used in the 323 GTX, GTR and Mazda Speed MX-5. <laughs> B REW. Generally, any 13B before 2003 is great, although the last one from the FDRX7 is the best due to its high slab of engineering, not much affected by the emission regulations. It is much sturdier than the MSP in the RX8, which is less lubricated for emissions. But Mazda's wankles in general are a great success in the automotive world. Mazda K engine. As an all alloy engine with a variable intake line system, this was a short stroke engine of small dimensions and high RPM limiter. Its main applications were bigger models, but also some sports cars like the MX3 with the 1.8 or the MX6 with up to 2.5 liter. A 2.3 liter once received a supercharger. Mazda Responsive More commonly known as the MZR, this name covers three different engine series, most notably the Mazda L engine. This one not only contains units of the older Mazda MX-5, Ford Fiesta ST or turbocharged Mazda Speed 3 and 6, but also a Cosworth tuned 23 liter for the BAC Mono. R26B The R26B was not the only four rotor by Mazda, as it was sourced from the 13J unit used in the 767B. Naturally, it was no production engine, though it deserves to be here as the first and so far the only non reciprocating engine in the race car to win 24 hours of Le Mans. It had continually variable intake geometry and three spark plugs per cylinder.
Mazda R360. The engine of the Mazda R360 is not here to praise for its character, but the actual existence powering the very first Mazda passenger car. Unlike the minority of market share which all use two-stroke engines, Mazda stepped up the game with a more durable four-stroke put into an incredible lightweight body, ensuring its very high fuel mileage. Skyactive G. The Skyactive technology is simply a further development of a naturally aspirated gasoline engine with an incredible high thermal efficiency. They also use high compression ratio, variable valve timing, 4 to 1 exhaust headers, and considering its displacement, they do really perform amazing. Speaking as a 2015 Mazda 21.5 2 owner. RFCX Comprex. The pressure wave supercharger is not a common term around cars, but Mazda was one of the few, if not the only one, who put it into a production car. It was the Mazda 626 Comprex with a diesel, and although there was no direct successor, it's worth to note that they sold more than 150,000 cars with the Comprex engine. 